Hey guys, Ms. Katonic here. Welcome back to Let's Play the King Mircha Basarab of the Kingdom of Wallachia. And uh, a few things have happened since we last checked in. We have taken the Duchy of Slavonia. I think that's what it's called. Duchy of Slavonia, yes. We gave it to not a family member. Uh, unfortunately, we need to create more of them. Um, we just simply do not have enough of them. And to do that, we're going to have to kill our wife. She's too old to produce any more children, which is a problem. So what we're going to do, uh, we are in love with her, which makes this, uh, well, it's fine. Let's plot to kill and invite. Let's see if we can get anyone to support us. Uh, we got one person. Well, let's see what the plot power ends up as. Uh, looks like we might have to do some bribing to get this done. We need to appoint another commander. Yeah, we're gonna have to bribe someone. Uh, this person... Send her a gift. This person as well. And the bishop. Okay, let's see what this uh what this ends up as. If it's over a hundred we're looking good. It's not quite a hundred. It should should still potentially fire. Um, let's see. Is, is there no one else? Nope. It's too bad. Uh, another thing we could do is ask for a title. Hopefully our liege will say yes. Uh, looks like he did not. You are bedrock of loyalty, the cornerstone of the realm. Truly, there is support for your claim in the Bible. I know that God will reward you in time. All right. So he used some kind of diplomatic trick and, and uh, told us to go fuck off, basically. All right. And I did become the marshal as well, um, which looks like he's he has me just sitting in the capital right now training troops. Uh, what this does mean is I can't lead troops anymore. And it looks like we have a problem with a faction. Increased council power in Wallachia. Our son, the Duke of Carvuna, who still has no children. He married uh, Gabriella, a Greek, 24. Hopefully she'll have some children. All I, all I want right now is to grow the dynasty as much as possible. And uh, I th as soon as this truce ends, in a year, I'm, I'm going to declare it. And hopefully we'll have a son of some sort somewhere to uh, give a title to. And uh, we do have a duke down here as well. Well, we have, we have more dukes than we did last time we looked. We have the Duke of Vidin over here, our son Sass, Sass, <laughs> uh, and he does have a vassal, um, Count Stefan. We have our son-in-law, Duke Eberolf, who was married to Princess Alina, and uh, she hasn't had any children yet, but when she does, they'll be the heir to the dynasty, or I'm sorry, the heir to the duchy, and uh, that'll have... That'll put this duchy under our control. Under our family's control, that is. It already is under our control. So, what I really need right now is just more children. I could, instead of killing my wife, just divorce her. It'll cost 100 piety. You know, I think that'll be quicker. Let me do, do it that way.
After much prayer and meditation, I've decided to grant your request for divorce on the grounds of consanguinity? Consanguinity. Interesting. I don't know what that means, but... Um, I'll have to look that up. So, we could marry Countess... Let me see what's in this list. Any geniuses? Not of age to bear children. Um... 18-year-old weak and quick woman. 26-year-old quick woman. Here we go. Actually, this is perfect. She has a lot of stewardship, which would maybe bring me over the, the domain size limit. Uh, yes. It'll cost me a little bit of prestige, but it, it'll be worth it. And we also have enough uh, army size to create some retinues. We've I've made uh, three of the pikemen defense retinues. I th from what I remember reading on the forums, they're the best right now, arguably. Um, are you lustful? No, you are chaste. Shoot, I should did not notice that. Well, hopefully, our lustful king will, uh, you know. <laughs> in the wrong map mood. Uh, we could declare on Croatia as well. They are currently fighting against Serbia, which means... Well, it would make it harder to grab those titles in case they're sieged down. Uh, how, when is our truce with Serbia up? 805. This one is up. Actually, it's now. It looks like the king died. So I need to go for Temesh. Go for Temesh or Pest. Or Ungvar. Well, I want all three of these, eventually. Who am I kidding? I want the whole kingdom. Let's get real. But I think Temesh... I mean, the strongest, the strongest duchy to take would be one of these two. It would weaken him the most, but I don't really want him to be weak yet. I don't want him to convert. And I don't want him to be declared on by someone like Bavaria. Which really means that taking something like this would be smarter. Well, he'd still have a border. It wouldn't matter. What duchy is that? That is the Pex duchy. Interesting. The Germans, damn filthy Germans over here, making everything Catholic. Um, now yeah, let's just go for the weaker duchy first. I think. Pest, no, not pest. Timesh, and then and then we'll work our way up here. Um, Yes. So let's raise the army levies. We probably won't need our vassals' our, uh, armies. We'll just try to keep them happy. He's called the. He's calling his his uh, tribal vassals in to help him. All of them. Great. We have enough money for mercenaries if we need it. Let's go kill him. What is this? Like in Bihar. We are not leading this army, unfortunately. Oh, I did. De I did destroy the Kingdom of Bulgaria title as well. Just to. Uh, I don't want. I don't want any. Any other kingdom titles, if possible. And uh, what this also means is uh, Bulgaria should be should start becoming incorporated into the Kingdom of Wallachia, which is good. It'll take a long time, but it's happening. And shoot, hopefully not one of the commanders that we're using died. Yeah, it looks like they did. That's, that's too bad. Uh, 
that. So put someone in here, this guy. And we're just gonna I'm just gonna start mopping up their armies as much as I can. Uh such a wonderful bouquet. The complex blend of flavors spreads over my tongue just as the warmth spreads in my belly. These monks certainly know how to make a fine wine. I must visit the monastery more often. I get a chance for learning. Uh, or 20% chance for temperate. But temperate is really good. I'm going to try for go for that. Here we go. So our wife is already pregnant. This is great. Arrive in Temesh. Yes, let's, let's go try to get these armies cleaned up. Uh, my son is making friends for me again. This is part of the family uh, focus trait. Um, I think I can siege these down just fine. Yeah, they're super quick. So let me siege both of these down. This is the war goal, and this will give us a lot of war score. And this should force his army down here as well. And I don't think there's a river crossing here. Nope. So if we can force him... There is one between here, so let's go attack him first. He's gonna run away did not make it. And with these two counties siege, and if we keep killing his armies, it should be... we should get 100% pretty fast. Uh, we need another commander. I don't know if they're resigning or what's happening to them. They might just be dying. Alright, so we got another claim. I'll use it, of course. Oh, I should not have used it. I did not realize we were broke. I, I'm not. I didn't hire Mercs, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's keep fabricating over here. We're relying on him giving these away to vassals, though, to to be able to declare on it. Because we can't press our claims against our liege. Well, we can, but it would not be smart. <laughs> Alright, let's start assaulting some of these. We are making... Oh, we're not making money. I don't know what this will do. Oh, it should be fine. And uh, I'm, I don't know what effect this has on the armies itself. Uh, morale of your armies will suffer, and the longer this goes on, the more corruption and criminals will plague your counties. That's not good. What happened over here? I thought I saw borders change. Maybe not. Oh, it's this. Serbian Revolt. Okay. I could declare on that county as well if I wanted to. I might want to. Bishop. No longer Chancellor. Okay. Uh, this guy is pretty good. 22. 22 diplomacy is pretty good. Let's have him fabricate over here. I think I need this one. I was hoping that, since I have claims on this stuff over here, he would just give me the titles when I requested them. But it appears not to be the case. This guy... Uh, I need another commander. Alright, 74%. We're getting close. If I can go take his capital, that should help quite a bit. I got a temple. That should be fine. 91%. Nearly there. What I'm worried, it's always a possibility that um, because of the Holy War, this guy will have a decision that he can that he can choose, just like you know I do up here. And his decision will be convert to Orthodox. And if he does that, um, our war will our war will be invalidated, and we'll never be able to declare a Holy War on him ever again, since he's a Christian. And that would just be a huge shame. Okay, so we got a daughter. 
that's not what I'm looking for. Teresa? Sure. Copti. 97%. If we siege his capital... Yep, 100%. Okay, let's do this right away. Wolakian Holy War for Temesh has ended. We won. So we've gotten this duchy. And it is, uh, what do you call it, tribal, just like these were. So what we're going to have to do is take our patriarch, have him proselytize over here, and then we can do the same trick we did over here where we upgrade the, the tribal holding into a castle. And I do kind of want to give these away. I, I was really hoping she would have a son for me to give them to. Do any of you have, have children yet? You have a daughter. You do not. Hmm. What about... See, this is a waste right here, Prince Iyaku. He's a vassal under my other son. Well... Let's get our troops home. It won't kill us to hold these for a while. We are three over the domain limit. I don't know exactly what penalty that does. I know it affects your total levy size. I could give these away temporarily. Or I could give one of them away without a problem. What is the capital? I'm sure it's Timesh. Yeah. So I could give this away and then when I get a son, give him this, and then give him the duchy, which will put this guy under him. Alright, let's do it that way. Search realm for a male who's not a ruler, who is my religion and my culture. Oh, these don't matter. All we want is high stewardship. High, steward high stewardship, of course, will affect the chance that the county culture will change to the culture of the ruler. So a ruler with high stewardship will more likely convert the, the county culture. This guy, Lidovoy. Congratulations, random person, you are now a count. Well, a chief, I should say. Yeah, he does not like me because... Domain too big, right? Um, well, it's too bad. Oh, he had adopted feudalism immediately. Well, if I knew that was possible, I would have just given them away to begin with. So he's now a count. And it didn't, didn't even need to be converted. Was it because it had... no? Well, that's cheating. Okay, so our troops are back home, which means we can lower them now. Start saving some money. Uh, so there's... Yeah, let me look at the faction, see if there's anything we want to join. Uh, there's only one faction. We cannot join it, because we're on the council. And if the council's content, you cannot join any factions. Well, is there anything on the council that I can do? I'm a, I'm a glory hound. He has a lot of uh, a lot of loyalists. Oh, I have some infamy. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so if I take Pest, which... I don't know if this is referring to Budapest. It must be. I don't think Romania owns Budapest <laughs> currently. So it's not, you know, the historical borders or anything. But 
It would look. The, it would make the borders look nicer if I could grab Pest, the Duchy of Pest, right here. If I could have these borders and this, it would look a little funky here. But you know, I might have to take Galish as well. Well, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll take whatever I can. It's not about pretty borders. It's about power. So we want more power. Our knowledge of legalism and box is converted. This guy already converted his province. That's actually pretty impressive. Let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Nope. Just very minor. Oh, right. Prisoners. Let's see if there's anything we can do with them. And we can ransom this guy. 25 gold. Sounds good. This guy. Can we execute you? I don't care if you hate me. And no one cares if you die, so we'll kill both of you. Oops, I didn't see that message. Ask Leech for title. Okay. Are you currently busy with anything? Anything at all? No. Can I... I don't have enough money to buy a favor. 997 gold, wow. Uh, what about the other offer two hundred dollar donation? Oh, I don't have enough money to do that. Okay, I could wait until I have the money for that, and then try to send him that. And then with that favor, I think I could demand a t uh, a title, or at least it'll weigh into that somehow. I could convert to Greek. No, thank you. You know, I'm gonna borrow money for that, and then see if it, see if he takes my donation. If not, I'll just pay it back. Uh, yeah, he refused your generous donation. He claims that you're just trying to gain leverage on him. Outrageous, a shame. So I hate him for a bit. It is a shame. I will pay back the Jews and ask him for a title. See if he just says yes. Nope. I have claims on his stuff. He should just... He should just give in. Uh, what is this? It's occupied by... I, uh, occupied by a revolt, which means I could... go for this. I think I would go for... Aleshi. Yes, I would. It would make me border these provinces. And it's part of the Duchy of Crimea, which is what I've been fabricating on. So it would make sense to, to take that. Let's do it. Holy War for Crimea. I don't know how strong he is. Looks like he's actually pretty strong. Probably should have looked at that first. And that will allow... any Tengri rulers to join him. I think they have to border him. might have been dumb. This might have been very dumb. Let's try to meet up, get everyone together. I mean, the troops that we have currently... Uh, let's go siege this down, too. I want to get some more score quick before people start joining in. All right, our daughter Alexia has finished her education. Oh, here's an option, actually. Uh, all right, so she's a great eminence. We need to matrilineally marry her to someone. Could matrilineally marry her to 
a Byzantine prince. He is born in the purple. Um, it would be prestigious to do that. There's no geniuses in here. No quick. There is a couple strong. Uh, let's see the other one. Attractive? Nope. Alright, let's go for the... Let's go for this guy, then. And then, when he does arrive... Alright, so she's currently married to him. Shy, charitable, zealous, diligent... Lucis Shadow. He does have a strong claim on the Empire. And a couple weak claims. Including one on the Bishopric of Constantinople somehow. That's interesting. That's the uh, seat of the Patriarch. I could not vassalize the Patriarch, unfortunately. Yeah, I would have to be an Empire to do that. I could have to be an Emperor. Uh, what I will do, though... What, who was it? Alexia. I'll give her husband the County of Thames. Temesh. Which makes him a Count, or a Chief, currently. Makes my daughter a Chief. Dis. His heir. Why is your heir like that? Well, hopefully he'll impregnate Alexia quickly. Because right now it looks like the heir is not who I want it to be. But if, if it goes according to plan, he'll have a baby with Alexia. And her, her baby will be the heir to the duchy, or the county. And then eventually I'll give that baby the duchy. Duchy of Temesh. And uh, he should do the old uh, feudalization thing over it as well. I would give it to him now. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give it to him now. It's too risky. All right, so we've taken this county. What we need to do is build a. Uh, we can't afford it. Eventually, we'll need to do that. Yeah, we have to. Do, we have to sit here. Otherwise, it'll just go back to him. Oh, Tamesh is converted. That was quick. Uh, what else needs conversion? Let's move over to Burlad. Been trying to do that for a while. Alright, so I need to build a fort here. Otherwise it'll just keep flick, uh, flipping back to him. And that did make us go into debt. Let's move on. This could be a problem because... I don't know if I have enough money to build forts. And they're not making it futile yet, which is kind of... kind of has me worried. Do I own this? No, someone else does. Who's fighting you? It's not the Magyar Revolt. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. This is Volhynia, isn't it? That's Galish. Where, where is Volhynia? It's over here. Oh, you are the High Chief of Volhynia. Okay. I don't even remember you being conquered, to be honest. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to hope that we are making money now. We are. And eventually I can build a fort here. County of Rasden is converted. Where is that? It sounds very familiar. Oh, it's over here. This guy converted his own province. That's good. Uh, 
Did you... not yet. Oh, he's trying to siege this back. Let me build a fort here. I don't know if I can build it in time, unfortunately. Maybe? Okay. We need to get over there quick. Come on. Alright. And we've, of course, our money situation makes our morale really bad. We should still win. We did lose a lot of men. He is moving to... across the river. And this is the guy's capital, so if I can take this... And a bunch of armies over here too, it looks like. Yeah, I need to siege his capital down. Should give me some more score. 100% already. Perfect. Force demands. So we've taken Aleshi. And since it is a tribal holding, it is automatically Vlok and Orthodox, which is great. Let's move back home and disband our levies. What is this? Oh, Kazaria. I haven't even looked around the world in a while. Maybe that's a good opportunity to do so. Um, let's see. So we got France over here. Not Francia anymore, which means there's no curling on the throne. So now a drogling, which means Charlemagne is dead. Is there any carlings anywhere? We have Pepin, who is a carling. He's a Lombard, and he holds Middle Francia. Lombardy itself is held by a Lombard. We have Bavaria, uh, Frankish now, not German. Bohemia is a tribal. Uh, tribal Slavic? Yeah, they're pagan right now. Poland. Also pagan, Slavic. And then up up in Scandinavia, of course, we have the Germanic Norse tribes uh, causing havoc. In England, we have Scotland, currently uh, known as the Pictland. I think that's because they're uh, tribal, yeah. They're kind of uniting uh, Scotland right now. Got a little bit more to go. Uh, Ireland's completely broken still. England, the same. Wales, the same. Broken. Aquitaine. Is this Carling? Nope. French, Walenti. Uh, Spain is completely Muslim. We have one kingdom up in the north. Queen Asturias. The Queen of Asturias, Visigothic and Catholic. Uh, Muslim in North Africa. Looks like it's a body or Shia. And Sunni, of course. Uh, West African pagan down in Africa, in the Mali region. In Africa, we have the Sunnis. And it looks like. Wow, the Abbasids are huge. Uh, looks like the Kingdom of Egypt. Yeah, Sultan of Egypt has been conquering down into uh, Somalia in Ethiopia. And uh, the Abbasid Empire, the Caliph, is uh, really scary right now. It's taken a lot of Persia. He's taken Azerbaijan as well. And he holds a lot of you know, Armenia. Uh, up in the steppes we have... let's look at the, let's look at Russia. Russia is still Slavic and Suomenisko. Suomenisko, which is some kind of pagan. There's still Romyvins. What is this, an empire? Oh, it's the Magyar Revolt. Yeah, nothing's really uniting over here. We still have uh, just scattered duchies. Moskva. I think this is Moskva. Held by a, a Finn of some sort. And uh, over in the steppes, it is uh, Tengri, except for some Sunni. Uh, 
starting to poke its way in. This guy is not a horse lord. He is a Muslim ruler. So he's starting to civilize. Um, it's kind of scary. Tengri might not be able to stop that. We have a bunch of just random counts over here. Uh, feudal. Feudal counts. Yeah, so we got some feudal over here. A lot of tribal. And then the nomads are slowly shrinking. Um, yeah, they're being pushed in by the uh, Muslim government type, which is called Ikta. I don't actually know much about it, to be honest. I know it's like feudal, though. Uh, we do have one Afghan Zunist, which is some kind of pagan. I don't know what that's related to. Sun God originally worshipped by the Zunbul dynasty in Afghanistan. Zun embodies wisdom, power, fire, and the light. It must be related to Zoroastrianism. In, and in India we have a lot of a lot of Jain, but it's being converted away to Hindu, it looks like. We do have some Buddhist rulers over here as well. This guy, Bengali Buddhist, he has two kingdom titles, Kingdom of, of Bengal and Bihar. And this guy is Hindu. This is a king, three kingdom titles. He's also Hindu. What is his, uh... It's Gavalkind, okay. So his realm is gonna split when he dies, if he has multiple sons. He has no, no children, currently. Buddhist down here, Hindu. Yep, so it's looking about what you'd expect. There's still a lot of Zoroastrian in Persian that hasn't been converted. There's still a lot of Christian, Miaphysite Christianity that, you know, is yet to be converted. And uh, Catholicism is shrinking, actually. It's, um... Well, it's been pushed out of Spain. It's being pushed out of India. Or, India. Italy. And uh, we're kind of cementing our way into the Balkans to, to stop it here as well. And, uh... Yeah. Hopefully we can eat these pagans before they become Christian... Anyway, this has been Miskatonic. Uh, when we come back, I will hopefully have more children to give titles to. And uh, if not, that'll have to happen some other day. Thanks for watching.